I was very happy with the results of my first attempt at nickel plating, as described in my video Easy DIY Nickel Plating. The parts we plated came out well. However, there was some large pitting on the surface. In the video, I mentioned the use of an agent called a surfactant. A surfactant breaks down the surface tension of the hydrogen bubbles created in the process, so they are less likely to stick to the item being plated and cause pitting. In this video, we're going to use a surfactant to see what difference it makes. The agent we're going to use is sodium lauryl sulfate. This is a very common agent used in soaps, shampoos and even toothpaste. In order to get the best results from our experiment, we're going to filter the old plating solution to get rid of any of the impurities that were in it. Nothing too high tech here, just a funnel and a coffee filter. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching our videos. If you enjoy them, please consider liking and subscribing, as this helps us to grow our channel and give more people the opportunity to watch our videos. There was a surprising amount of residue left. Now to add our surfactant. While sodium lauryl sulfate is used in many household products, it's important to remember it's still a dangerous chemical when in concentrated form, and all safety precautions must be taken, including wearing the correct personal protective equipment. Something we take extremely seriously here. Now to measure out the correct amount of surfactant. We're going to use one gram per liter of solution. We've got just over a liter of solution, so 1.1 grams will be fine. That's 0 0.03 ounces in old money. Now don't forget to keep hydrated during the process using your DIY Dave mug. Links in the description below. Time to reintroduce the filtered solution. and add the sodium lauryl sulfate. Quite a lot of agitation is necessary to get it into solution. A final top up and we're ready to rock. For the purposes of comparison we're going to use the same item that we plated last time, just the other end of it. Again it's extremely important that it's degreased thoroughly, we're using brake cleaner. Once cleaned the item is placed in the plate as pickle. This is a 50-50 solution of hydrochloric acid and water. It helps to key the surface ready for plating. After a couple of minutes, the item is washed off thoroughly in fresh water. It's now ready to be lowered into our new plating solution. Once again the part is wired up to the negative power source and becomes the cathode. This attracts the positive nickel ions in the solution. With the power turned on we can see that the bubbles are far far smaller than the original and far more reluctant to stick to the surface. I think we're on to a winner. We're now getting a foam of fine bubbles on the surface, whereas before there were hardly any.
The item has been in solution for about an hour and a half. It's time to take it out and see what we've achieved. A quick dunk and a polish later, I think we're extremely happy with the results and have shown that the surfactant makes a real difference to the process. Again, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Help us grow the channel so we can bring you more of the videos you enjoy.